Just as important as the sounds that you create is the area in which they live. This week, we're going to take a look at sound environments. So there's a number of different things that can affect the way that your sound functions within a level. We're going to take a look at three different areas, and that's going to be the proximity that you are to the sound source, the reverb zones of the area that you're in, and occlusions from things that are between you and the sound source. But to do so, we needed to build a testing facility. So with our testing facility built, uh, the first thing that we're going to look at is the proximity effect. And what that is, is basically the closer you get to an object, the louder the perceivable sound is going to be. So what I did uh, was just to kind of give us a visual frame of reference. I put this little model in here, just of a, a stereo system, and we're going to put some 3D sound in here. Now for music coming out of the speakers is one thing, uh, we can do that in a spatialization. If you're doing something like background music, that's not something that you need to worry about. So just to kind of give you an idea, I placed an audio track to sound like it was coming out of the speakers. All right, so we can hear the audio track playing, and then as we move closer to the, the stereo system, you'll be able to hear it getting louder. And because this does work in a 3D environment, we can actually turn left and right, um, and it'll actually automatically pan for us as well. And then we can do the same thing. As you can see, we've got some fire over here. And now, the closer we get to the fire, it'll have the exact same effect. So for this next part, uh, we're going to talk about reverb zones. And basically with reverb zones it's how the sound is going to bounce off of the walls so if you can imagine you know being inside of a building where all the walls are are made of metal sheeting you know you've got concrete floors a metal ceiling uh, things are going to bounce around quite a bit but if we were in an area say outside the building that we created um, you're not going to hear those uh, reflections off of the walls so what I did was, um, since we're in using the first person character, uh, I just took the fire sound and I sent it to my E key. So every time I hit the letter E, uh, it's going to play that fire sound. And <laughs> just to make this accessible, because I didn't build a door, uh, I took the collision off of this wall here so we can actually walk in and out of the building. So if we jump in here to the engine, uh, we can walk through this wall. I've already set up a reverb box. 
uh, around the inside of the building. Uh, so for example, when we're outside and there's no reverb, you'll hear this, which is just the standard um, first person fire sound for Unreal. But then if we go back inside where we're inside the building and we have the reverb zone set up, And we can play around with these settings. Um, there's a bunch of different settings here. I'm not going to get into all these different settings. You know, if Unreal is your chosen platform, then you can go in here and and play around with different reverb settings. Um, but I just want to kind of give you an idea of when you're creating sounds in a level um, that that's something that's going to affect the way that your sounds function. All right. So for the last little bit that we're going to talk about, that's going to be occlusions. And basically, occlusions happen when there are objects between you and the sound source. So just to demonstrate how that works, I uh, turn around and I, I put this wall here. It doesn't really fit with the level, but it's just a, to kind of give us a frame of reference. And I also switched out the music that we were using before. I had already EQ'd it. So to make it sound like it was coming from a radio. But for this example, we're just gonna use the, the full fidelity audio clip. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play and you'll be able to hear the sounds. We still have the proximity effect. So the closer we get, the louder it's gonna be. But then as we walk behind this wall, uh, you're actually gonna hear quite a bit of a low pass filter. So all of the high end's gonna get rolled off and um, it's it's over exaggerated to show you the effect, but it's something that we can play around with. And so you can hear the difference as we walk behind the wall all you hear are those low frequencies. I actually have it set so nothing above 800 hertz comes through. And you can play with that based on uh, how your level set up, the type of environment that the audio source is coming from. But I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how that effect works. So then what we can do is we can take uh, those three things that we've talked about today, the proximity, the reverb, and the occlusions, and we can use those three uh, type environment functionalities to really help bring your game level to life. So to kind of wrap things up, what I did was I took all the different elements that we talked about here, I combined them all. So now we have our reverb zone around our building. Uh, we've got our music playing out of the speakers. I uh, also added in uh, some ambient noise for the building that we're in. I uh, gave this machine over here uh, its own little um, and so you guys can get a, get an idea of what it sounds like when it all comes together. All right, guys so that's gonna wrap it up for this week i do appreciate you tuning in and hanging out i really enjoy building stuff in unreal so if that's something you'd like to see more of or for me to go more in depth into the things that i do inside unreal please feel free to let me know uh, you can drop a comment down below or you can get a hold of me on any one of these social media channels until next time